Hi everyone, and welcome to a reading for Cancer. How are you going, Cancer? Let's get into it. <clears throat> okay, straight out. Massive changes are coming or is in the process of happening. You may literally feel like it's completely out of your hands at the moment. Let's have a look. What is this change? It's requiring a lot of strength. You could be dealing with a Leo, yes. But the change is in how you're able to give and receive. Maybe you're starting to realise that some people in your life deserve more attention than others. Or you feel that you're getting less attention or more attention than somebody else. How I feel this is happening is major change in, a, in your probably living situation or the scenario on how you relate to other people. You've seen a lot of hurt in the past. A lot of people possibly have walked away. But through that, you've learned a lot. You've also carried a lot of hurt. But you've been very strong in the process. Extremely strong. A relationship came to an end or the relationship with your own self got lost in the process. I feel it's more of a relationship with yourself that's going through a complete metamorphosis. And let's have a look at this. Let's see what's going on for you, Cancer. It's coming off the back of her things that were said. Two separate events which has actually made you really feel like you've had enough of a scenario of having to defend yourself here. Possibly someone and or yourself came in and said something pretty harsh and really not very educated or a little bit immature. It's led you to think that you really do have to go back out on your own. You're realising that you have to watch what you say in scenarios and sometimes you actually have to hold your tongue. It's better for you to do that. It ends up better. You're realising through that. I've said some people you just, you know, you can't educate fools, you know. It doesn't matter what you say to them. They just don't listen or they don't learn. So you're realising that you're putting more attention into people that are actually becoming more enlightened as you become more enlightened. You've got, you're suffering fools less. You're realising that you have an incredible strength of character and also an incredible stability and an infinite heart to give. Far bigger than anything anyone could ever envision. What you're learning, though, is this massive tower moment, I feel, is you realising that that absolutely, infinitely gorgeous heart of yours, you're turning it around and giving it to yourself. What a joy, what a privilege, what an honour to feel all that goodness that you've given out over so long into your own self. It's making you feel like you're thriving, not surviving. You're able to actually get the reins in your life again. You're manifesting from your own intuition, from your own higher self. It's bringing in a sense of completion. You're very thankful for this journey because it's taught you so much. Reminiscing over heartbreak. Reminiscing over things that were said. But also reminiscing and, and also slightly grieving the person you were, but absolutely exhilarated to find out the person you are. So that's how I see this. I'll see if there's any more clarification for you. So it's a, it's a complete self-discovery. <clears throat> Interesting. It would turn up backwards and land on this and this. 
and this positive movement forward. There was no positive movement forward. It was always back steps. And the manifestation that came out of this was just more turmoil. So you're realising that the positive movement forward is coming from your own realisation that you're turning to yourself. The end of a completion. Let's see what the love blocks could be. What were the blocks? Self-acceptance. Exactly. Love yourself just the way you are. Love yourself. It's time to love yourself. Pi um, sorry, excuse me. I nearly said Pisces. That was my last reading. You could have been dealing with the Pisces. This could have happened in Pisces season. The realisation. But also, what do you say to yourself when you look in the mirror? Do you say, you know, are oh, you looking a bit shabby this morning? Or do you say, you're an amazing person. Look out, look at how great you are. Okay, because it's now time to shine, to find the happiness within so you can shine it without. Because the, the world needs you, needs you, Cancer, to shine your light from it within to make the world a better place. So also water healing, of course, time at the beach is absolutely important for you at any time, but right now particularly. So it is okay to be happy, Cancer. It really is, okay? Pull your energy back into yourself and start to put all that lovingness into your own self, your life, your achievements, and the world's going to be far, far greater for it. Love you all. I really hope that helped, and bye for now.